Hi, I'm Charles from Jet Bicycle Wheels. Uh, you're wondering what I'm doing with a wire hanger today. It's because I want to demonstrate for you a simple little analogy about uh, spoke fatigue. So, um, as wheel builders, we get you know really focused on uh, spoke tension, even spoke tension, and high spoke tension. That's why we employ all the uh, tensiometers that we do in the process. Uh, make sure we get that spoke tension high and even. The reason we do that is because we're trying to reduce the movement of the spokes. By reducing the movement, we're extending the fatigue life of the spokes. Um, so, uh, as you know, every, every time a wheel goes through its cycle, the spokes are going from a state of high tension to, you know, slightly relaxed as they go through that cycle. And in that process, with each cycle, they're moving. Uh, so by keeping the tension high and even, we're limiting the amount of movement the, the spoke experiences. And the reason that um, is important, I can demonstrate with this wire hanger. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break this wire hanger, and you may have done this yourself, and it's not that hard to do. As long as I move the, the wire in big sweeps, right, I'm going to be able to um, work hard in this wire right nice big sweeps ah, it's a little unruly but these nice big sweeps and I can feel it work hardening and it's gonna break right I actually got a little hot there um, so that's work hardening pretty rapidly because of a lot of movement now I'm gonna try it again on this side but I'm gonna limit the movement of my hands right just a much smaller range of motion and we're gonna see how long it takes me to get this wire to break, right? And by limiting the movement, it's taking quite a bit longer. I'm not feeling the, the heat. That's exactly what we're doing by limiting the movement of the spokes in your wheel, is we're uh, reducing the likelihood that they're gonna uh, work hard and fatigue and break. And so, um, feeling like I want to give up on this, like this wire is never going to break. Now if I switch to big sweeps, I'll be able to get this to break virtually instantly. It's getting hot. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and it's broken. So, uh, that's a you know reasonable demonstration of you know the value of limiting movement. So um, I want to mention also that there's another way that we limit the movement of spokes. Uh, so first and foremost by high even spoke tension. But in addition, uh, we're big proponents here of tying and soldering. So on a typical road wheel, I'll tie and solder the non-drive side of the rear wheel. That's because those are the spokes that are the loosest in the wheel system, right? The lowest tension in the wheel system. Drive side spokes are, are the highest tension. Non-drive side spokes are the lowest tension um, because of the wheel geometry. Um, so I always like to tie and solder those non-drive side spokes, really help uh, limit their movement, extend their fatigue life, eliminate the possibility that they're making noise. Um, also on disc wheels, my preference is to tie and solder the full wheel set, all four quadrants of it, uh, because those those spokes are experiencing, uh, you know, on the rear wheel, they're experiencing torsion in both directions. On the front wheel, it's experiencing a torsional load that front wheels otherwise uh, wouldn't experience. And so, Again, by uh, tying and soldering the spokes, we can uh, reduce that movement, extend the fatigue life of the spokes, give you a more reliable set of wheels. Uh, if you like videos like this about wheel building and spokes and rims and hubs and whatnot, uh, please take a minute and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can just click on the uh, logo up above and uh, you will keep feeding you more videos about wheel building. Thanks.